Now we go to fundamental problem 6-1. Alright, so you have this uh, trust system which have these members A, B, B, C, C, D, D, B and A, D Alright, and you are given the, the, the dimensions 4, 4, 4, okay uh, And then uh, it is, this trust system is supported at point C hmm? uh, Pin supported at point C while it is a pin roller support at, supported at point A and at the top point B, uh, you have the horizontal load uh, of 45 kilo acting to the left, right? So what you want to do is, the question asks you to find uh, the force for each member, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 members, okay? Uh, and state whether they are in tension or compression, right? So now, so now let's begin. So first thing first, you need to uh, change this. Basically what I, I mean by that is, you need to find whether they... I mean, what kind of supports that they have at A and C, okay? So this is pin. So basically, you have CY, right? And CX, okay? Still don't understand this? Go back to chapter 5. A, at point A, it is pin roller, so you have only A, AY. But basically, you can, you can assume this to be this way, okay? But, uh, Actually, we know um, that this one of these will be the other way around, okay? A Y or C Y, okay? Actually, in this case, if you understand this kind of uh, moment, okay? So this C Y will go the other way around. I mean, it will go down instead of going up. A Y will go up, okay? Maybe if you're not sure, assume first assume both A Y and C Y going up. But again, like I said that around you will realize actually C Y going down, okay? So now let's do this. Uh, we don't, we want to find the forces at these members. Okay, all members A, B, B, C, C, D, 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 and A, D. So we have choose. We're going to use the method of uh, joints. Okay, so we have to choose which joint we want to solve first. Okay, so here actually you can do starting with joint D, but later on you need to find these uh, reactions. Okay. So let's start with uh, join D. So at join D, by the way, you need to draw free body diagram. Okay, for this, there is no way you can do this without free body diagram. We won't, we won't tolerate that. So at point D, okay, at the top over there, basically you have this, right? You have the applied load uh, of 45 kN to the left, right? And what happened? You have three members BD, CD, and AD. So, You will have this FAD, right? And you will have FBC, BC, eh, sorry, DC, BC, DC, okay. And you will have your FBD, F, it's okay. But mm -hmm. you can do this. And you have a problem, right? Because if you do FS go zero, F go zero, then you have three unknowns. Isn't it? Actually, this FBD is zero. That's your first no some first uh force member you can you you know from this. Why? Because you look at point B over here, you see that this is a uh three members, right? And A B and B C are collinear, while this BD goes that way, direction. So you, you know from the definition in the lecture video, right? So the third one, this one is zero. So which means that simply means that FBC, FBD doesn't get any load. Okay? So in this case, you can simply omit FBD. BD, member BD is there, but it doesn't get any load. It's okay. Right? Uh, why FBD, FB, uh, FDC goes? Uh, goes out, F A D goes into the the point. Actually, like uh, I explained in the lecture video, you if you're unsure about the directions, then you assume everything to be in tension. Okay, I mean, do F D C going out, F A D going out, and then we round. Okay, 
And then you're going to see that later on, if AD actually it is compression, it is going, going inside. Okay? So, for this FB, uh, point D, okay, oh, by the way, we should mention that the first one is FBD equals to zero because it's a zero cost number. Okay? Uh, we do summation of FY equals to zero, and then we'll equate these two. Hmm? By the way, uh, when we do this, Please remember that you need the direction. Direction means the angle of something. In this case, you are given that this is 4, this is 4. What does it mean by that? It is 1, 1, root 2. 1, 1, root 2. Same goes for this FDC. FDC. So this is 4, this is 4. So you have 1, 1, root 2. Or actually 4, 4, root 32. That's fine. It will be it will have the same, the same uh, ratio. Okay? If you still don't understand this, please again go back to chapter 3 okay so here you have for the y component okay this is y this is x so for the y component you have fad going up right and the y component of it is 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 okay and minus fdc times so times 1 over root 2 equals to zero. So from this F Y to zero you know that your F A D and F D C have the same magnitude. Not the same direction, the same magnitude. Okay? And then you go to summation of F X equals to zero. Alright? What you have? You have minus four. Don't you? Minus four plus F A D one over root two. Okay. This time it is this one. One over root two. Alright? plus FDC 1 over root 2 equals to 0 so these two will be the same right so you have if you equate them you have FAD or FDC because they are the same right and then you will have this FAD or FDC equals to 31.8 kilo newton okay if you take FAD will be compression if you take F DC, same magnitude, right? But it is the direction which is tension, right? What I'm doing here is actually you substitute just one of these. If you, for instance, if you want to do FAD first, so you keep this FAD, FDC, you change it to FAD, and then you solve this, you get your 31.8 kN compression, which means that because you got positive and then you FAD, initially you assume it compression, so it is correct. Right, and then you put it back here. Uh, of course, you put you put, uh, you 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 know that F F D C will be the same as F uh, A D. Okay, you have the same magnitude, but from your diagram previously, F, your F D C is going upward, so it is tension. Right. So from point D, you have these two: one, two, F A D, and F D C. And from point B, basically you you got your first zero cost member, which is F B D equals to zero. Okay, next. <clears throat> what else? You need to find this and this, right? These numbers. So, if you want to find, uh, if you want to find this, for instance, this one, which join you need to do? Because you already know this FTC, right? From this. So, you can do moment about, uh, sorry, uh, free body diagram about join, join C. But in order to do that, you need to find what is your STX and see what first. It's okay. So what you have to do, here I'll go back to this one. You do the, you find the CX and CY. What is your CX? Your CX is 45 kilometer. Okay, how do, you, how do I know that? Free body diagram for the whole truss system. Alright, you do FX equals 0, you will have CX minus 45 equals to 0 and your CX is 45. Right, so your C X is forty five kilometer, and to find this C Y, because again you want to do free body diagram later on at join C, okay, to find this F B C. So you need to find how to do that. You want to eliminate A Y, right? Because there is an unknown that you still don't know, which is A Y. You eliminate this by using summation. Summation of moment about point A equals to zero. Okay, do summation of moment about point A equals zero. You eliminate A Y because it does not have R. 
Alright, so you have is okay for this one, you have minus 45, okay, times 4. 45 times 4 minus counterclockwise. Right? Okay, we assume the is positive. And then what else? You have this CY, right? So you have plus CY times okay, equals to zero. How about CX? CX does not have R, right? Because the line of action of CX uh, passes through point A. So there is no R. But CY, you have that one, CY times the R, 448. Okay? So your CY is, hmm, solve this one. Your CY is 22.2 and 22.4 2 kilonewton. Okay, this CY going down. So, okay, of course, uh, later on you know that AY is so 2.5. I'm going to show that. Okay, so now you have the CX and CY at point C. So you do the free body diagram at joint C. Okay, at joint C, so basically here you have this. And you have your CX and CY. What are your CX and CY? CX is 45 kN. Isn't it? 45 kN. CY is 225 which going down. 22.5 kN. Okay. CX, CY. Right? And what else? You have the FDC from before. The T1.8 kN tension. So how do you do that? Tension. So it goes out from the... This one. 1.8 kN tension going up from the from the point because it's tension okay and of course from previous you know that it is 1 1 root 2 isn't it the direction right and you have another one which is F B C that the one they want to find okay by doing this triple diagram you want to see so you have this F uh, you want to find F D C so which direction you can assume just assume going out tension for, for now okay because you are not sure in this case because if you look fx equals zero you have this got this 45 going to the right while the component of 1.8 going to the left okay so if you're not sure you you just you can you can actually should, should go to the left okay well, okay but that's fine fbc so how do do how do we do this So we do the summation of f x equals to zero, right? And what do you have? You have this forty-five minus thirty-one to the right positive, okay? Thirty-one point eight one over root two, okay? The component of it is one over root two, right? And minus f c equals to zero. Right? So your FBC FBC is 22.5 and it is tension. You have positive value, it is correct, you assume it as positive uh, as, ten, uh, as positive tension. Right? And next, you got this, you want to find this, right? Final one. You can use join A or join B, it doesn't matter. For instance, you choose join B. So at join B. What you have, this is joint B, so you have FBC from before, right? Which is 22.5 kN, isn't it? And you want to find your FAB, so it goes out, FAB. Of course, from here you can do FS0, but you know definitely your FAB equals to FBC, which is 22.5 kN, and because it is correct, the position is correct, it is tension. Going out, going out from the right. 